Remy, the Ratatouille, the rat of all my dreams. <laughs> I just watched the Ratatouille musical and it was so good. And they got the cast of six to be in it. Nobody's talking about that. They got this cast of six to be rats in Ratatouille the musical. Amazing. Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. As you guys can see, I am in my beautiful A4, which means obviously today we're gonna be doing a wig try on video. Also, this is my first video of 2021, I realized. So happy 2021, we made it. So for today's wig try on video, I'm going to be trying a new type of wig that I've never tried before. Today we are jumping into the world of Taobao wigs. Taobao, if you are unfamiliar, is basically a big online marketplace that is pretty much the Chinese version of eBay. And among the many things that they sell, they sell cosplays, they sell Lolita dresses, and they sell, of course, wigs. Their wigs are actually very, very affordable. So I was really interested to see what the quality was gonna be like. So um, I ordered a whole bunch of them. The thing with Taobao though, is that most Taobao sellers don't ship outside of China. So you have to go through a proxy website. So the proxy website that I bought all of my wigs through was Binner, specifically Lolita. Lita Binner. Um, this video is not sponsored by Binner, that's just the proxy site that I chose. So I went to their Lolita wig section and that's where I found all of these wigs. So I have a nice array of wigs here that we're going to be trying, all of them in various different price ranges and we're just basically going to try them out and, and see how they look and I'm really excited. Um, these wigs range from $3.44 US to $17 US, so very affordable and a very nice range of prices. So I'm excited to see um, how the price corresponds to the quality. Obviously, quick disclaimer, this is not a paid video. I did buy these wigs with my own money to make this video with you guys. Um, but of course, regardless of the circumstances surrounding a video, I'm always going to be completely honest about how I feel about a given product or service. Um, so yes, let's do it. So we're going to start with the cheapest wigs. These two wigs were $3.44 US. I have a blonde wig and I have a kind of dark brown slash black wig. I'm really excited to see what a $3.44 wig looks like. So the first wig I'm gonna try on is this long light blonde wig. Um, right off the bat, um, the only thing that really is jumping out to me is that it looks very shiny. For $3.44 though, that's something that I can live with. You can do things to fix that. You can use fabric softener, you can use baby powder, et cetera, to make it less shiny. And I think obviously for the price range, that's something that I'd be totally okay doing. If it was like a $50 wig, I wouldn't want to have to do that. But for $3.44, I'd be happy to use various wig hacks on this wig to make it look less shiny. I think the color is nice. It has sort of a variance. It has some lighter fibers and some darker fibers to kind of add dimension to the color, which I like. I can see it's a little bit thin, but for $3.44, cents. I really don't mind that. I would expect it to be kind of thin. We'll see how it looks when I actually wear it. So far, the quality is kind of what I would expect for what it is, but um, let's try it on and see how it looks. All right, so um, she is very shiny. But again, for the price, I really don't mind that. And this is something that, again, I wouldn't mind using some, some anti-shine wig hacks on. I think that would be totally fine. I think for the price, it's what I would expect. I think it's a workable thing. Like if this is the wig that you had, you'd be able to kind of make it work. If you were really on a budget, um, you could make it less shiny. Obviously you, you don't get a lot of hair. It's, it's, it's quite a thin wig, but it's thick enough that you don't really see the, the net underneath. I can't really see it. Compared to the picture, it is very, very different from the actual product image but I kind of expect that for $3.44. Yeah, I mean, for $3.44, I think it is what it is. Let's move on to our next wig. This is a dark brown. It's not really a black wig. I thought it was at first, but no, this is a this is a dark brown wig. Obviously it's from the same listing. So I think it's really just gonna be the same deal as this, but just in brown. So no real surprises, but either way, let's try it on and see how it looks. All right, here we are. So like I said, um, it's pretty much the same thing as the previous wig, but in a darker color. Um, it's very shiny. I don't have much more to say about it. It's a $3.44 wig. It's basically the same as the wig that we just tried on, just in a darker color. I think given the price, I think it's quite fair um, what you get. This is definitely what I would expect for a $3.44 wig, but it's not like some miraculous thing where, you know, you pay $3.44 and it's a surprisingly good wig. I think it for $3.44 is a $3.44 wig. So it is what it is. <laughs> all right, all of that said, we are now going to move up to the next tier. This next wig is $8 US and I chose it because it is insanely long and I wanted to see what this super long wig 
for $8 looked like. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah. So taking a look at it just out of the package, it is indeed as long as the product image advertises. This is a very, very long wig. Wow, I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of shook at just at just how long it is. Like it just keeps going and going and going. So you get as much hair as they advertise. Um, taking a look at it, it's not actually too shiny, certainly compared to this. It's, it has kind of a nice matteness to it. The biggest difference is that it doesn't have the fake scalp top that this one has. It has just a little kind of crown here and that's it. Overall, I think for $8, it looks surprisingly good. Like it's not overly shiny like these ones are. Um, you get a crap ton of hair. Like it just keeps going, going, going. I think like lengthwise you get a lot of hair. Thickness wise, it's actually pretty thick. Like it's not gonna be the thickest wig, but it's pretty thick for $8. I'll be interested to see how it looks when I actually wear it. But just kind of looking at it, I'm not really seeing the netting underneath too much. It has pretty good coverage that way. So I'm really excited to see how this looks on. So let's give it a try. All right, so um, taking a look at it, I'm still so shook at how long it is. Like, let me see if I can show you guys. There we go. Um, so it goes like, it's so long, it is, incredibly long. It's so cool. I've never seen a wig this long. The color is kind of just a flat color. It doesn't have a variance in the fibers. So it doesn't have kind of like some lighter fibers, some darker fibers. Um, it's just kind of a flat blonde wig. But again, for $8, for $8, this is kind of what I would expect. I think for the price, this is workable. I think if you needed a long wig and you were on a really tight budget, I think this is workable. It is what it is. And I, I think that's okay. All right. So now moving up in the price range, we are going to check out this $10 wig. Ooh. This is a wavy kind of dusty blonde wig. But I think this is definitely one that you'd have to use fabric softener on, but the color looks nice. The style looks nice. Um, I'm excited to see how it looks. So let's check it out. All right. Um, I don't think this this particular style is very flattering on me. It did come originally in a ponytail, but I took it out of the ponytail. Um, that doesn't look much better. I, it's not very flattering on me. I don't, may, maybe, I feel like maybe I could make it work. Um, the color is cool. I like that it's a dusty blonde rather than a regular blonde. That kind of is a nice kind of change up to the other wigs we've tried today. I don't love it though. Just like in, in terms, like the other ones were kind of just very basic styles that you could do a lot of stuff with. This is a more kind of specific style. You know, it has the, the waviness and it's supposed to be kind of like a little bit crimpy looking, but I don't know. I thought it would look cute on me, but I feel like it doesn't. Um, in terms of the quality, it is quite shiny. As you can see, especially towards the top, it is quite shiny. Um, but again, for what was this? This one was 10 for $10. I would, again, would not mind just using some fabric softener on it to make it less shiny. But in terms of the style, I was expecting more. I was really expecting more. Let me know what you guys think. All right, so now we are down to our fourth and final wig. This is the most expensive wig out of all of them. And this is the one that I'm by far the most excited to check out. So this wig costs $17 US. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. This wig is specifically meant for Lolita fashion. This is from a specific Lolita fashion brand called Vanyar and oh my goodness I am like look at these curls look how beautiful these curls are it just it feels wonderful it looks wonderful um, looking at it 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 has a little bit of a shine to it but not too much the color variance is fantastic it's got um, various different shades of pink in there I don't know if you can see that on camera but it's got various different shades of pink to kind of add dimension to it Vanyar is a brand that I've wanted to buy for for a little while um, they have a really nice array of Lolita wigs. Um, so I'm really excited to finally have one. And for $17 US, like it's, it's a really good deal. So I'm really excited to check this out. Let's give it a try. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, this is, the style of this is so cute. It's so flippin' cute. I love the curls so much. I love the color. I love that it's not too crazy of a pink. It's 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 a nice kind of subtle pink. This is something that I can obviously totally use for Lolita fashion. I am so in love with these curls. They are so bouncy. They're so cute. It's a good thickness for what you pay. This is great. And for $17, I think it's a good deal. Definitely something that I can use. Definitely what I would expect for the price. Definitely lives up to the product image. Yeah, this is great. So yeah, there you 
you have it. Let me know what you guys thought of these wigs and let me know what you thought of this video concept in general. Would you like to see me try out more Taobao wigs? I think if I did a video like this in future, I would probably stick to the $15 and up wigs. I wouldn't try buying $4 wigs again. It was fun to buy some of them to see what they were like this one time, but I don't think it's something I would do multiple different times. And if I did this again, I would stick to wigs that I see myself actually using for either cosplays or Lolita cords. So if you guys would like to see me buy more Taobao wigs in the $15 and up price range, for sure let me know. Um, but yeah, this was a fun exercise. I just, I was really curious to see what $4 for a wig would get you, what $10 for a wig would get you. Um, and my question was definitely answered. I think you really get what you pay for. And again, I think sticking to $15 and up is a good way to go because this this wig for $17 US is definitely usable. The other one's not as usable, um, but this one is is really something that you could do a lot with. So yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and watching. I really hope you enjoyed this fun little Taobao wig try on video. Um, if you are new here and you'd like to see more videos like this, please by all means subscribe. I put out new videos every Sunday and it would be awesome to have you here. Thank you once again uh, for hanging out with me today. I will see you guys all next time. But until then, Panda Faces, please be sure to take care. Bye.